right, what's up? I'm Mike, N2MAK, here at the park, May 25th, 2025, 5, 25, 25, for a six meter FM activity day. A six meter band, to me, I, I'd say six meters can kind of be like the malort of ham radio bands. It's, it's certainly an acquired taste, uh, mixed with some sorrow and frustration, but, but the magic can happen. Let's see if it does here today. All right, here's a quick walkthrough of the setup. So we're using the ICOM 7300, run full power there. Got the iPad for logging. This, you can't see it quite so much underneath here. This is the Mammoth map from Quirky QRP. This is the first time using it in the field. And this is like the perfect example uh, use case for this. It takes up the whole table and these tables with all the holes, it kind of gives a, a better flat level surface. So awesome stuff. Fun to use that for the first time. And uh, let's see here, antennas. So first antenna, we got a vertical and we're using, see, you can see the call sign right up there. Yeah, this is the six meter roll up J pole, the Farajay uh, from Ham Radio Rookie. And I purchased this, this is the first time using it in the field. Uh, this is the Soda Beams Tactical 7000 HDS mast. Uh, so that's about 20 feet or so up at the top. And it ends up the feed point is probably about four to five feet off the ground. And then horizontal, real simple first antenna I built for uh, six meters, just a simple speaker wire dipole. And then that's got uh, some PVC, which fits. This is an Amazon Basics uh, speaker stand, but the three quarter inch PVC fits perfectly in there. And you can see, I'm just using a BNC post uh, right there. And if I zoom in, always be choking. Got a, a, a choke there on the coax. And then I only had three beads available. I put two on the end fed. There tends to be a little bit more common mode that you're going to see if you're feeding it towards the end versus in the middle. But uh, yeah, we got pretty much the uh, park to ourselves. Got W2 MVP, Michael and Fred and two RPG there. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this show on the road. And this right here, this coax switch, so we can switch between the uh, antennas because cross polarization can lead to significant losses. And so that's why we got both a horizontal and a vertical. You can be looking at anywhere from like a 15 to 40 dB loss. Some people are gonna, if they're, especially the VHF contesters are generally gonna be on a horizontal. It's a little bit easier to create multi-element antennas for directionality and game if you're running horizontal. But that said, um, the vertical, uh, it's going to come in handy because a lot of people, especially on FM, are going to be uh, vertically polarized. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda. This is Mike calling CQ for the really easy air. Standing by for any stations anywhere. This is Whiskey Alpha 2, Romeo Romeo Bravo, WA2, RRB. Over. Whiskey Alpha 2, Romeo, Romeo, Bravo. Thanks for being the first one in the log today. You are a good, clear 5.9. I'm running on a vertical antenna right now, QSL. This is WA2RRB. You are pretty solid 5 over 9 here also, despite the noise. I am running on a horizontal antenna at this point. Um, we do a USB uh, voice net on this uh, uh, band every week. Uh, so I see the see how the horizontal did. I'm glad to hear I'm cutting through. I, I am at uh, Grid Square, Foxtrot, Popped November. Um, Popped up from about one, seven. Three. I say again, Foxtrot, yeah. November, one, three, over. Roger, 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 Roger. Um, I just switched to a horizontal. Your, your signal improved just a little bit. Just curious how it sounds now. 
This is WA2RRB. Your signal is uh, increased in uh, readability. Over. Yeah, that's exactly what you're saying. Roger, 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 Roger. Thank you very much for the contact. I got two other operators here that would love to get you in the log. So if you could stand by uh, WA2RRB, uh, I'll, I'll put the other two ops on. This is N2MAK. WA2RRB, this is N2RPG. November 2, Romeo Papa Golf. This is WA2RRB. How are you doing today? Over. Switch to horizontal in a minute here. So. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda, November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo calling CQ for Parks on the Air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda, November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo calling CQ for Parks on the Air. From US 6532 in Western New York, Grid Square, FN 13, Echo Bravo, aiming north and south on the horizontal QRZ. Delta 2, Whiskey, Whiskey, Yankee. Kilo Delta 2, Whiskey, Whiskey, Yankee, QSL, Don? Yeah, right, QSL, QSL. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm actually over at Lock 32, so I got a three for it, but I don't have all the parts in. I just got set up. Oh, roger, Roger, I can tell you what all three parts are. I know those off the top of my head. QSL, Don? That's three hey, contacts QSL, each. You'll get them to me, I'll save you some time. <laughs> roger, Roger, okay, the first part, which is my part, is 6532, 6532. The second park, which is Lock 32, is 2097, 2097. And then the last park is 8098, 8098, QSL. QSL, QSL, I got US 6532, US 2097, US 8098, QSL. Roger, 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 6532. 2097, 8098, that covers the Canalway, the Lock 32, and the Empire Trail. Um, and I, I'm running horizontal now, I'm not sure what you are, but I got two other ops to get in your log too. When, you, when you're ready, let me know. Yeah, I'm almost ready, I'm still trying to get my log going here. Hey, well, I'm ready enough, yeah, hey, if I can get two more, I'll be a third of the way through my activation. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for, uh, I'm ready for two more. Roger, Roger. Yeah, I'm on a uh, I'm on a ham stick here on six meters, sitting here with. Uh I brought out my IC so this op right now who's so talking, this op is at a POTA 3 for a uh, couple so towns so over, and uh, he's just getting set up. So we're letting him use the frequency right now, work someone else real quick as he uh, gets started. You must have heard my call out on the, uh, on the repeater, QSL. Oh boy, just, just above the noise here. Should we switch? I heard the... Give it another, give it another go. So we switched uh, to vertical? Maybe, we did, yeah. Let me see if I can pull it through. This is Whiskey 2, November, Victor, Papa. We switched to a vertical instead of a horizontal. Is this coming in any better, Tim? QSL. No, uh, that's much better. You might want to stand back, son. <laughs> W2BMT, N2MAK, park to park, QSL. N2, Mike Alpha, Kilo, Mike Alpha. Roger, Roger, never too many antenna kits. <laughs> uh, through that, through that, through that. Your 5-9 to park US 6-5-3-2, thank you. Roger, Roger, your 5-9 in the right ear, 5-9 plus in the left. Thanks for the contact, 7-3. Thanks for the march depart. Uh, happy 6 meter day. Thank you. This is November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo. Parks on the air. We're rocking the vertical right now. 52525. Four operators. QRZ. Hey, real quick. My buddy Jeff, KD2YO, loaned me these uh, Radtel HTs that we're playing around with, or we did play around with <laughs> back during the activation. If you're interested in uh, seeing a video on it, let me know down below. Um, these things are crazy. They'll do like nine bands um, plus CB, uh, probably dirty as heck, but uh, I'm playing around with them. 
and uh, gonna test them some more and uh, might even do a video on it. But uh, if you're interested, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, back to the activation. Just K2 E&E. &E. He's running vertical, switch it now. Yeah, you can hear the difference. Now Paul's gonna come back. Paul's running horizontal, switch it to vertical. And then you just, like, you're seeing like a good difference in like three S units or so. I, I've heard anywhere from like 15 to 40 dB loss with cross polarization. So it makes a big difference. That's why we're running uh, two separate antennas. We got half waves for both uh, uh, vertical and horizontal polarization. So it makes a big difference. Me, Whiskey 2 Bravo, Mike Tango. I don't think I've talked to you since uh, we were uh, doing the back and forth at Aronicoi. Back to you. Uh, Roger, last time you were in the log is January uh, and you were in a park. Yeah, I already got the other three stations, got them earlier, about an hour and a half ago, but you're a new one. And uh, you're sufficiently above the noise, I'm on a vertical. All right, we activated four of us on six meters. We might have thrown a couple other bands in there for uh, Brian, who showed up a little bit late. But let's get their take on what they thought about this uh, six meter FM activity day. Who's going first? <laughs> Fred's going first. And there's a reason why Fred's going first. Why is it, buddy? Because I'm still a technician. Uh, <laughs> and no. it's my first time on six meters. Uh, it was really cool to get on a new band. Um, it's the band that everybody can use, so that was cool. Got to make some simplex contacts with people I usually hit on repeaters. Um, and yeah, it's it was a blast. I had fun. Yeah, for myself, what I thought was really interesting was the difference between the polarization between a vertical and a horizontal. Uh, as you can see behind us, we had both antennas, and we could hear in real time switching between the two, and it was... You know, you can read about it in textbooks, you can read all you want about scuba diving, but until you jump in that water, it's the real deal when you see it in real life. And being able to switch between the two today in real time was really, really inspiring. Oh, there's nothing like six meters when people actually get on the band. Got to drum up some activity somehow. And Mike's idea was terrific to do this, not just because there was a lot of context around here. And granted, granted, I heard that the, uh, the atmosphere wasn't playing nice on HF today. So, you know, local contacts on six meters uh, uh, are gettable. They are achievable. They are satisfying. And th today, having a full activation with just six meters and uh, 33 centimeter contact to boot, uh, that was just a bonus. This is this is the kind of thing that uh, really you know makes me feel happy about being an amateur radio operator. All right, that's going to do it. And I guess if, if there's one thing that really surprised me today and something that really meant a lot, it's it's encouraging others to get out and get active on six meters, whether it was for POTA or not. Brian drove in from out in Western New York out towards Buffalo. One of the first contacts uh, we had in the log today was a park to park on six meters. Somebody else was inspired to go out, do a POTA activation on six meters. And uh, I, I know I've, I've heard and gotten emails and messages from people all over, not just my region here in the Finger Lakes, but throughout New York, throughout the US, that we're really excited about today. And, and that means a lot. It, I, to be honest with you, I was nervous because we didn't get an opening and I don't want people to be disappointed when they go to six meters. You know, sometimes it's there, sometimes it isn't. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, we had an absolute blast. And if you got out on six meters, whether it was today or any other day, um, hopefully you're having a great time as well. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click like and subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't yet, leave a comment down below. I'd like to know what suggestions you have for portable antennas for six meters. You saw the six meter speaker wire dipole, something real simple, cheap, but extremely effective. Then uh, you saw the uh, the Faraday for six meters, the, uh, the J-Pole, which certainly are gonna be a, a lot more pricey, but I mean, that packs up stupid small it's it's amazing uh so but let me know in the comments down below what what antennas you like for portable on six meters thanks for watching i'm mike n2mak seven three seven threes seven three. Three. Oh, and i almost forgot leave no band behind yeah my yeah. my eyes are up here <laughs> that's going to do it for the activation but I activated with these three guys. Let's get, I, I'm really curious to see what their take is. Um, Cause I'm sure it was probably their first six. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry.
sleeping on the job.